What's up guys, Shane starts with Droid Modern X and today I have a video showing you guys how to root the Galaxy S6 without tripping Nox. This is also a one click method for rooting the Galaxy S6. Now this is not currently available for the S6 Edge, but it is available for just about every version of the Galaxy S6. The Keen team is actually right now working on getting the rest of the versions of the S6 working. They had said that the Verizon variant was working earlier in the day and then they went and corrected that there you see where it's striked out saying that it is not actually available for the verizon variant just yet but all of the variants it should be working perfectly for and then they're working on several other variants as we speak and also working on compatibility for the s6 edge so that should come in the days ahead but for now all we have to do is scroll down and i'll include a link in the description to this page we'll just scroll down here to where the apps are and then we're going to grab the party beta 2.7 zip file as soon as that is finished here we'll go ahead and open that up you'll need an application like winrar uh, or winzip or something like that uh, and or rar for android rather in order to open this up so we'll go ahead and open that and we'll open it with the package installer okay we'll have to go into our settings and select ok for unknown sources then we'll be able to install the ping pong root. Okay, we'll go ahead and open the ping pong root and we will select get root. So if it asks for any permissions, we're going to go ahead and allow those permissions. Okay, so it's going to give us a long wait screen there and then it'll finally say root done and is recommended to reboot your device now. So we'll click OK and then we will reboot our device. Now I tried it once and it did not work. So the second time through it actually worked there. So you may want to try running the application more than once. If it doesn't work the first time, you should get that screen saying that it is done with the root uh, and that'll signify that it has actually finished the process. Okay, as soon as this reboots, we should have an application called King User. We want to open that and give permissions to whatever apps need permissions. Uh, Super User, I had downloaded that earlier. This will not download Super User for you. We're looking for this application, King User. So we'll open that up. Okay, so you'll want to make sure, I, I clicked that too fast, that was T-Mobile asking for super user access. As soon as your phone's rooted, that's going to pop up. Do not allow that. That is so that T-Mobile knows that you're rooted. So definitely don't want to allow that one. We'll go to root authorization. Go ahead and give permission to whatever applications you want to have authorization. So we'll go ahead and allow root checker. And we will go to root checker, verify root, and it says that we're rooted. Congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. Now, if you're one that was waiting around for a no Nox tripping version of root, this is it. And like I said, it should be available for the Verizon variant, AT&T variant soon. The team's working on enabling those versions as we speak. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.